This episode of Distraction is sponsored by Landmark College. Offering 360-degree support for students with learning disabilities, ADHD, and ASD. Learn more at lcdistraction.org. Landmark College. We teach differently. This is Dr. Ned Halliwell with a mini-episode of Distraction. Today, I'd like to talk about one of my absolute favorite topics, namely pets. As many of you know, I am a great lover of pets, especially dogs. And I would like to tell you about the three dogs we've had, as well as one cat. And uh, I have to admit, I loved that cat named Louie. I'm not a real, true cat person, but I did love Louie. The first dog came into our lives because I was seeing a couple in therapy who said... You know, our marriage would improve enormously if we could do something about our dog, namely get rid of it. (laughs) And I said, well, I think we could take your dog. So I went home and I asked my wife, Sue, could we take on a dog? And she said, well, I guess we could. At that point, we had uh, two children who were thrilled. And so into our life came Pippi, a Kishon who was about, oh, I don't know, 40 pounds or so. Mid-sized dog, gray hair, very loving dog. And we had Pippi for, I guess, 10 years. If we got her, she was about three years old. I still see the dad for his ADD. And uh, this was how many years ago? Gosh, it must be like 25 years ago. Pippi was with us, and uh, our third child was born. Pippi became a wonderful member of the family. We loved Pippi so much. And uh, Pippi did what dogs do. Pippi loved us and uh, shared Christmases, holidays. I can still see Pippi jumping through the snow and jumping around our backyard. And uh, she would bark every morning to let us know it was time to wake up. We loved Pippi. And along that time, Louis arrived. Louis was a stray that one of our relatives had found and asked us to take, and so we did. And Louis was a big black cat, very, very large. So Louis would sleep on the pillow between Sue and me and, and purr loudly, which Sue did not enjoy. But Louis purred very loudly. <laughs> And Louis stayed with us for, I guess, about 10 years as well and would sleep in various parts of the house when he wasn't sleeping on the pillow between Sue and me. Until one day, Louis just walked off into the woods, and I'm told that's what cats do. One day, Louis just wasn't there anymore. It was very, very sad. I still miss Louis and his purring. We didn't get another cat after Louis. Louis was the way cats are, sort of diffident and unto himself. I don't know what it was about Louis, but we had a special thing, and I I do miss him. And then Pippi, he got old and and died of old age. Uh, And then we had no pet for, oh, I guess six months or so until we brought in Ziggy all the way from Europe. Ziggy was was a Jack Russell. And Ziggy was just the most extraordinary dog you've ever seen. So full of life, so full of energy. Ziggy uh, couldn't have weighed much more than 12 pounds, but boy, those 12 pounds were so full of zest and love and energy. Ziggy had the special skill of being able to push a soccer ball around the backyard with his nose faster than my boys could run. He would push that soccer ball, actually it was usually a basketball, But he would push it around the backyard, lickety-split, running as fast as you could go, and he would do it for as long as you could play with him. But he wasn't yippy. You know, Jack Russell's can be yippy. He was just full of energy. Truly, people would come to our house just to see Ziggy. We still cry when he died. He had a tumor, and he died pretty quickly. He didn't suffer. But holding Ziggy lifeless in my arms was one of the saddest moments. We all couldn't believe that that pepper pot, that incredible loving dog could ever die, but he did. And so we were without a dog for, I guess, about six months. And then my son Jack said, you know, we got to get a dog. And so he and Tucker went out to a rescue shelter and we adopted the opposite of Ziggy in terms of size, this uh, 80-pound, three-months-old rescue dog from Alabama named Max. He looks sort of like Scooby-Doo. He's this big oaf of a dog that (laughs) eats everything in sight. He chews everything up that he can find. 
We're still trying to train him not to eat everything he sees. But Mr. Max has taken over. We're loving him and trying to welcome him as much as we welcome Ziggy. These three dogs, along with Louie, the cat, have added so, so much to our family. These three animals, they give love and the invisible force that pets can give. I just come to my knees when I think of them and am so, so, so grateful for what they give. I'm sending this message to all of you to recommend, you know, I often talk about Vitamin Connect, Vitamin C, and how it's the key to everything good in life. If you can possibly have a pet, have a pet. I know for various reasons some people can't, and I understand that. But if you can have a pet, you know, cats are pretty easy, and uh, dogs are more work. But uh, if you can have a cat or a dog, I urge you to do it, because the rewards are enormous. We loved our Pippi and our Ziggy and our Louie, and we're loving Max. There's nothing quite like it. Well, this is Ned Hallowell with a mini episode of Distraction, wishing you all well. Distraction is produced by Collisions, the podcast division of CRN International. Collisions, podcasts for curious people.